Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Now Physicians Formula has finally, finally launched in India and they are exclusively sold at hokmakeup.com. Now out of the 13 shades they offer, they have launched only 9 shades in India and I have picked out only 5 shades. So do check out the description box below to see the shades that I have picked out. And if you have not already, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to which they're notified whenever I do upload. And now let's jump right into the video. Now first let's quickly get into the description of the product. Now it says that it's a lightweight cream formula features beauty miracle worker avocado oil that hydrates and moisturizes while hyaluronic acid smooths and enhances the lips over time for a beautiful healthy pout. Now it has avocado oil, vitamin A, a vitamin E, hyaluronic acid as well as anti-aging peptides. So it's basically a lipstick which has skincare benefits for your lips. Also these are hypoallergenic, they are paraben free, gluten free, clinically tested, dermatologically approved and of course cruelty free as well. So these liquid lipsticks are priced at 650 rupees for 7 ml of product which is freaking good. The reason is because in US these are sold for $8.49 which if we convert it approximately it is give or take 610 rupees so the price difference is very minimal and it is completely a-okay because there are so many brands in which they hike up their price like double or triple the amount of the cost how much they are originally sold in us or in uk so compared to them this is perfect so this is how the packaging looks like which I am totally digging because it looks nice and luxurious and beautiful for the pricing. So this is how the applicator looks like which has got this sharp edge and that is kind of helpful when you're applying any darker shades and it could help you in outlining your lips and also it is pretty flexible so that is good to maneuver the lip color and it has a hole in the middle which kind of accumulates all the product so that you do not have to go back in with the liquid lipstick to apply a second layer. So let's talk about the formula of these liquid lipsticks. Now these are extremely light on the lips. At the same time, it is super comfortable. It doesn't have that super dry matte finish and it is extremely opaque as well. Like the color payoff is amazing except for one shade which I'll come to that in a minute but apart from that it smells amazing it has that chocolatey sweet kind of a smell which is a huge plus point now this does take about 15 to 20 seconds for it to dry down on your lips but once it does it gives that nice soft matte finish and also bear in mind that they do transfer like for example so they do transfer quite a bit, not much, but even after that transfer, my lips, I don't think I do have to touch up at all. Now they last for about four to five hours after having some snacks and some water and coffee. But after that, you would have to touch up. And if you have any heavy meal, you will have to reapply because this will fade off. The texture and the formula of this liquid lipstick kind of reminds me of the NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream as well as the Flower Beauty Liquid Lipstick. So this feels like a baby out of both of them. Now coming to the cons, there is only one and that is to do with a particular shade which is this one that is called Noir Ishing Plum. Now this is a pretty unique shade, I was pretty excited for this because I personally do not own a shade like this on my vanity. But then when I applied it, it was nice until I pressed my lips together and that is when it started looking a bit patchy because once you go over with the shade twice, it literally looks kind of blackish, which I personally do not mind. But then when you press your lips together, you can see the plum shades here and there. So I feel it was a bit patchy at certain spots. But apart from that, I like all the rest of them. And I have also put in my favorites during the lip swatches, which we are finally going to move on to.
So this wraps up today's video you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I'll try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is It's the Shanayar on Instagram and It's the Shanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.